G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. I am at my new base. This is where I live now. It's not really where I live now. It's just something I've popped together. Uh, why am I here? I am here because I have decided that although I'm building a nice, beautiful, big elven palace elven village thing up over there, I need materials. And I'm kind of tired of mining in caves. I don't enjoy getting trapped in caves. I don't enjoy not being able to get to things, not knowing what's where. I want a nice big open spot that I can start mining. So I'm just going to get in and, and start digging and uh, I'll show you a little bit of a time lapse. Let's see how much I get done before I get bored. <laughs> see you in a minute. Now, that may not look like I did an awful lot. Ow! Wait, no, I can't see anything except my own legs. Help, help. Uh, wait, okay. Uh, ow! Oh, last thing I need is a is a raid right now. Um, I... Get, here, have one of these. There. Now, oh. Okay, well that was easier than I thought. Where are your friends? Come on. Come out, don't hide. Not that way. They're probably angry because I've got this banner up here, you know, <laughs> like advertising that I've killed their friends recently. I don't see them anywhere. A giant raid of one. That's good. Excellent. And no bad omen. Uh, yes. So, um, I'm... Uh, of course, why did I put a bed there right on the edge so I can't get up? Are they underneath, maybe? I don't hear them any... Why would I try and jump up a second time? And a third time, apparently. I'll just keep doing it. I'm just going to keep jumping here in the hope that the state of that bed changes so that I can get up there. Okay, let's put the bed one block down. <laughs> That's easier. And it faces the other way now. Uh, I'm still worried they're going to come up behind me. No, we're good. I think we're good. Okay, all I was going to say is, so that was a lot of work. That That's all? That was a lot of work. That, <laughs> it doesn't look like I've done a lot, but yeah, that took some time. Um, I was mainly after some diorite and things. I got a bit you saw in there, so that's fine. That's all we needed to do. I'll keep working on that. I'll do bits and pieces when I'm watching a movie or something and uh, report back on the, uh, on the state of the pit. Um, we'll call it Brad. This is Brad. Brad the Pit. <laughs> it's in the box. Um, okay, yeah, there's lots of stuff in the box. Look, ores and all sorts of things. Anyway, that's, that's enough. I'll head back to the Elven Palace and show you what I've been up to over there. Welcome back to Effendale. And we are up near my favourite build in the whole world, of course. And... I'm just going to... Look, look, I've got to stop and look at it. It's so beautiful. 
<laughs> okay, so we've done some work around the paths here. We've added in some custom trees, some more custom trees that still look squishy. I still don't know what it is about these trees. It doesn't seem to matter what I do. They end up looking like squished, squished down, right? <laughs> That was a good visual. That was the, <laughs> me pretending to be a tree. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's because the, the trunk is a certain thickness and then the leaves are not sort of far enough. They look good. Like that one over there looks really good. I like that. I think this one looks good too. Anyway, so I've gone around and I've added in these leaves around the paths and things like that so that we've got some more greenery and things around the build, right? We want to have different different things around that make it look not quite as clean and not quite as man-made we want it to look very natural so we throw those in just to give us a bit of a bushy sort of look around there and then over here we've worked on those walls that I was talking about adding before the, uh, it looks like I'm in jail when I do that and these only go so far down at the moment but I'm working on them and I think they're looking really good I think they'll work well particularly once we put some houses and things behind them so I, th I think they look yeah really really good I'm very happy with the way it goes then over here let's head over to the main pathway heading up I haven't done a great deal to the main building at the front here. I've added in these little parts next to the pathway that are sort of like a um, a moss and chiseled quartz and diorite and things like that, just to give it that look of sort of like a, um, a, a hedge, is that what it's called? Yeah, a hedge. Um, yeah, I think they look really good. I think that sort of lining down each each side of this pathway really gives a great look to it. Now on the inside here, so we've added a back to the to the palace itself, which looks like a surprised penguin. <laughs> now that I look at it, <laughs> haven't done, and I've done a ceiling as well. Um, that's just a makeshift ceiling. This is, there'll be some details to go in that, and obviously lighting and things like that. I'll just fly around. Uh, which side should I go on? Uh, yeah, I'll go down here. Okay, so down this side here, obviously I've just given it away. I've done a I've done a heap of terraforming down here to get that a little bit smoother coming up onto the hill here, and added in the cypress trees. Now these cypress trees are just a little bit smaller than the ones down there, so the idea being that these ones will give size to the palace itself because people will presume that these ones are the same size as the ones down there and yeah it just gives a little bit of extra sort of size to the building and i built this a lovely geode um, now when i was a kid we went camping in this place that had a quarry and we were searching for i think they called them dragon eggs and it's sort of it was this place where you could go and dig them all up and things and and uh i found this massive one in this quarry it was big it was like the size of a football um you know a soccer ball in australia and we cracked it open it wasn't anywhere near as beautiful as this one is obviously but um but it was beautiful with all the crystal and stuff inside just they're gorgeous things so i built one of them there and i've got these spires that go up the back i've got these on both sides let me just uh oh i didn't take off let me fly around the other side and show you over there yes yeah, so the spire here as well um and then there's a reason I'm not going in and up and that is because there is no way up at the moment so I need to work that out but if we come up here okay this is the third level and you know it's it's just basic again I'm just just laid down the, the things uh, yeah there's the top of that spire over there and then I've got this area up behind me. Now there was a plan to put a building up here behind me and I tried to build it, but it just didn't work out. It didn't look right up here. Uh, the coloring was all wrong and it sort of took away from the picture of the, the palace itself. So I had to move it. Now, that means that the space behind me is up for rent. I, I don't know what to put here. So <laughs> if you've got any ideas about that space, you let me know.
Now, let me just fly down here. Aha! Uh -huh. I have just solved the mystery of where the other purple bed went. So, I have built this little area, which is just a really basic sort of swing on a thing with some gardens around it and stuff. Another little custom tree, which again looks squishy. And up here is the build that I did that I had to move. So the stone wasn't looking right being up that close to all that diorite and all that white sort of building that was up there. I think it looks good here in its place. It, it's sort of very simple in its build, just a round building, uh, nothing special and no interior, nothing done in here yet, of course. Uh, I think this will become like an enchanting sort of area or something like that. I, like that's what I envisage anyway that that would be the sort of building you would have out here um, yeah so the the roof originally for this was white um, to match the white that was all up there but it just looked like it was too much so I went with the deep slate bricks on the top there that way it's sort of not the same as what's happening over there on the palace so yeah I think it came up pretty good I don't know about the iron stripes that go up on the roof there I mm, yeah they're fine where they are at the moment maybe I'll do a bit more work maybe I can do a little bit of sort of putting some wall and things like that in like I did on the palace to uh, give it a bit more a sort of less of a juttery sort of look to it um, but yeah, I think, I think that looks really cool and it certainly goes like it fits out here. Being out here away from the palace, it has a right of its own. It, it can exist on its own with its own colour scheme and things like that. So let's have a bit of a look at it with free cam. So yeah, just down here, having this little park here with the swing and everything really sort of works with that building and then the hill and then the palace and everything behind it i think it's starting to look good over this side the geode there as well now these um these archways that i've got here these archways are the same as the archways i've got over there next to the beautiful building and we will keep using those as a bit of a theme as we go around the building and things so yeah, just having that, oh, this hill here, this hill has been redone many, many times and it really, now I think it's starting to look good. It fits well. I, it's a shame to have the geode that close, but I, th I think it works. So let me go over the other side and show you what's going on over there. Okay, so this side of the building, we have still got this area here, which I do not know what to put in there. I know I've said that it's a park, but I don't know what goes in this park. <laughs> I even went to the trouble of putting little archways under the water there, which is kind of pointless, but it looks good. Um, yeah, I just don't know for this area, does it become like a little bay where you've got a dock or something? I don't know. But anyway, we've got this beautiful staircase over here again with those sides having the hedges down either side i think that's really a great look particularly with this smaller stairs and i actually did this first before i did the other one they they just really pop and they look really good you know when you walk up them you get a sense of grandeur which is what i was really after for this build and when you get to the uh, when you get to the top there, you apparently <laughs> you break the game. Over here, we've got the cave where all the mobs come from. I have lit... Uh, no, I haven't lit everything up. But again, that's something for future Zinkberg to worry about. And then back through here and we're back to the main part of the hall here. I do not know what to do with this bit of rock. And I don't know how far to cut that out. And digging them out is a bit of a pain. So I have something that I want you guys to help me with and I hope you can. I've been messing around as, as I've been flying around or as I've been moving around. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got iron blocks that are tearing and it's part of a, um, it's on all of these blocks here and everything as well. Um, it's part of a resource pack that I'm using that gives me the better flowers. It's the Blue Nerd one. And for some reason with sodium, it isn't working right. Uh, so I've been looking at resource packs. Now I want your help here. I'm going to show you a couple of resource packs and I want you to help me see see if any of these work for my world. Let me, uh, let me just get around here. So this is vanilla, right? This is just the regular one with the Blue Nerds pack is nothing special about it, but it, it works fine, except for that tearing that's happening on the, <laughs> on the thing. So let me show you some resource packs and we'll see how it goes. 
Okay, so I have two to show you. So either we go vanilla or we go this one here, which is the Faithful 64. This is actually one that uh, MC Oda uses. It mainly changes, like it's a little changes. It's still got, yeah, it's still got the tearing. Uh, but that's because I've got the blue node thing going at the same time. I'm sure I could get rid of that. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, apart from that, is there much difference? Let me have a look over here because sometimes mud and stone and things look a little bit different. Yeah, so everything looks a little clean. This is how Oda, he looks so clean when he builds. Um, <laughs> it's not, he's just an, an amazingly clean builder. Uh, the glass looks cleaner over there. The grass is greener over here. Um, yeah, I think... I mean, this isn't too bad. I don't think it looks really different. Let's try it with shaders. So even with the shaders on, it looks quite good. I don't know. I mean, it, the fact if it's still tearing, even with the Blue Nerds thing on, then it doesn't really solve the problem. It does look very clean, though. Very shiny. I like the look of that. Uh, the geode looks good. Yeah, I think everything looks pretty good. I could potentially see myself using this one. So so remember, this is the Faithful 64. Let me know if this one would be your choice over the vanilla one. Let me show you another. And this is the second one. This one is called Default HD, which looks very vanilla. Maybe there's a difference in the polished diorite. Uh, ooh. Okay. Th why? <laughs> what? Why? They look like they're carved out of aluminium or something. Like that. That's uh, that's unusual to do that. Why? I wonder why they've gone to such an extreme there, where they've done nothing to to the rest of it. That's really interesting. Everything else just looks normal. Let me. Uh, I'll. I'll. Uh, yeah. I'll fly over. Do the same thing. That stone texture is weird though. Uh, so what about the mud? Yeah, the mud and everything looks fine. The bed doesn't look like it's really changed or anything. Uh, ooh, yuck. Um, okay, that's a problem. The wood is really bad. And then what is with the sand? Oh, okay, all right, so it's got like a all right, a wavy texture on it. Uh, I think this is a very easy choice to not. Uh, <laughs> I think everything else looks okay-ish. Yeah, I don't, I'm definitely not. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got to give it a fair chance, I guess. The glass looks the same. I think there's some difference in the diorite. The geode looks the same there. Um, yeah, that's a weird thing to do to the stone. Why would they do that just to that one texture, make it so vastly different? I don't know. What's it? It feels darker. Is it darker? I think it's darker. I don't... Uh, and the tearing is still there, so it doesn't solve a problem for me anyway. Uh, I mean, I could look at it with shaders on but I don't think we'll bother I think <laughs> I think I think we've got our answer not this one if it's anything it would be this one or faithful uh, I like the look of the faithful stuff but I, I don't know if it's really me so let me know in the comments down below now I think that will do me for today uh, before I go there is a little thing if there's something that I'm not doing that you think I should be doing or something that you're not enjoying about what I'm doing, let me know. Get in the comments, open Slather, talk to me. Let me know what it is. What is it that I'm doing right or what is it that I'm doing wrong? I would love to hear from you. So throw me a comment down below. Uh, guys, I really appreciate every one of you who have made it this far into the video and all of you who support me on a regular basis thank you so much you get me through some really tough times and and i've been going through a couple lately so um thank you so much i, I really appreciate every single comment you guys are true friends and and i really appreciate every one of you have a great week guys I will see you next week. I'm sorry I didn't get a Cryoforks episode out. I'll try and get one out this week again. Uh, we will see how it goes. Have a good week, guys. Speak to you later. And bye.